Herb Dean has long been known as a gold standard for referees in MMA. Shocked that Herb Dean let the fight go into the fourth. Do you think he should have stopped it in the third? Well, let's put it this way. I was cussing. You know, I was cussing. I was literally just effing pissed, you know. But in high-profile fights, and particularly near the end of rounds, he tends to make blunders like letting the fight go on for too long. He stopped the fight! He thought his Dean is encouraging Mertes and he stopped it to carry on! And while he's not as controversial as Mario Yamasaki or Steve Mazagotti, Dean still produces shocking moments now and then. And that is it! Herb Dean comes in and stops the fight! Or is that the end of the round? Stand by. That is the end of the round. That leave MMA fans scratching their heads. It's not over. Come on! It's not over. Stop the fight! It's, it's the done second now. time now, Dan. That's two it's times the run of So here are ten of the worst stoppages by Herb Dean. I normally like Herb Dean, but that was a big Dude. mistake on his part right there. He's Robbie Lawler vs Ben Askren. Now this one was arguably one of the most questionable calls of Herb Dean's career, particularly because everyone wanted to see Ben Askren get his butt whooped, and it almost happened. At UFC 235, former UFC welterweight champion Robbie Lawler took on promotional newcomer and self-proclaimed welterweight GOAT Ben Askren in a clash of legends. The former UFC welterweight champion's arms apparently went limp, or did it? choking it was on his head and it was not on the blood oh no that was a bad stoppage oh. some said it was a fair stoppage while others begged to differ and this is what herb dean had to say nobody's gonna know whether he was conscious or unconscious what i saw i saw everything that would indicate i'm seeing an unconscious fighter i see an arm go limp for no reason whatsoever with that same situation with an arm going limp with that type of a choke on someone i don't see that i should do something different the luke rockhold vs chris weidman stoppage wasn't debatable however luke rockhold vs Chris Weidman. Weidman was on top of the world following his middleweight title win against Anderson Silva and three title defenses when he faced former Strike Force middleweight champion Luke Rockhold in 2015. It was a high level fight between world class athletes in their primes, so it was naturally competitive. However, the tide shifted in Rockhold's favor when Weidman went for an ill advised wheel kick that allowed the challenger to take the champs back. Scrambling to full mount seconds later, Rockhold unleashed a hellacious barrage of punches and elbows with 30 seconds left on the clock. Herb Dean's very close to stopping it. Weidman was doing nothing to defend himself, but Dean refused to stop the fight. What does it take to stop a fight? Wow. In the fourth round, Rockhold continued his dominance, taking a comprised Weidman down and finishing him with ground and pound. Paul continuing to punish Weidman. That's it. It That's is it. all over. Champion. Unfortunately, the stoppage came minutes too late, and even Rockhold's coach was mad about it. Shocked that Herb Dean let the fight go into the fourth. Do you think he should have stopped it in the third? Well, let's put it this way. I was cussing. You know, I was cussing. I was literally just effing pissed, you know. And, and you know, and I'm not really blaming Herb, per se. I'm blaming the way the system is. Jorge Masvidal vs. Cowboy Cerrone. This was another fight that was dragged on. The UFC on Fox 23 co-main event between the two BMFs should have been stopped late in the first round, when Masvidal had his opponent reeling with a flurry of punches and it appeared that the cowboy was as good as done when Dean decided to step in. Initially, Dean appeared to have called the fight but then he signaled the end of the round instead because the bell sounded the moment he apparently stepped in to stop the bout. Is that the end of the round? Stand by. That is the end of the round. As a result, the fight saw round two, where Masvidal had to punish Cerrone for an added minute before earning the win. Well, you can tell Donald's not the same yet. Oh, another knockdown for Gangrid. Cerrone in a world of trouble here. Masvidal worked in the body and that is it. Now, if you think Jorge Masvidal vs. Donald Cerrone was bad, wait until you see Khalid Murtazliev vs. C.B. Dolloway. At UFC Moscow in 2018, veteran C.B. Dolloway took on promotional newcomer Khalid Murtazliev on short notice after a couple of pullouts. The newcomer was in control for the majority of the fight, and late in the second round, he unleashed venomous shots on Dolloway, connecting non-stop as the American covered up and offered no resistance whatsoever. Well, he actually this could be the beginning of the end here. Big shots here from Murtazliev. Dolloway's had enough. It's over. This is it. Surely this fight needs stopping. What is he doing? He needs to stop the fight. Dean stopped his fight. He's encouraging Mertes and he stopped it to carry on. 2,000 years later.
Wow. He's made it out of the round. I think the fight is still going on. I think Herb Dean waved off the round, but not the fight. Dean stopped the fight at the end of the second round as Dalloway struggled to make his way to the corner. You have to get up. If you don't get up, I'm gonna stop the fight. Are you are you wanna fight? Done? Fight's over. That should have been stopped probably 10 strikes earlier. That was one of the most late, the latest stoppages I've seen. I normally like Herb Dean, but that was a big Dude. mistake on his part right there. In a post-fight interview, Dalloway criticized the veteran referee by saying that he failed to do his job, which was to protect him. He's, He's not even trying to continue. get his guard back, Dan. Look at this. He's just laying flat with his knee over here. That's not it. right for CB Dalloway. Now, a mistake every once in a long while is digestible, but two blunders in one night seems a bit too much. Herb Dean had a shocker at UFC Fight Island 3 with two late stoppages, which which caused the commentary team to call him out and interfere in the fight. The first one involved the heavyweights Tana Boza and Rafael Pessoa. In the second round, Boza swung a hook and it landed into the eye of Pessoa, who then backed away and eventually fell to the ground. Boza rushed in to finish the fight and Pessoa covered up as soon as he hit the canvas. That, that's him! Oh, that's oh, him. Down. Oh, that's him. Boza's gonna get the finish! And he's yeah, over, Thanks to Herb Dean, Boza had the opportunity to land 10 more devastating punches to the head of Pessoa before Herb Dean eventually called off the fight. The commentary team were not happy. It's over, Ram. Ram. Francisco Trinaldo and Jay Herbert. The catchweight 160 pound bout that featured on the same card as Boza vs Pessoa was even Stevens going into the third round, with both guys winning a round each. In the third, Herbert clipped Trinaldo with a nice shot and the Brazilian responded with an overhand left that had more sting in it, which sent Herbert to the canvas. Oh! The Brit wasn't 100% knocked out, but he certainly looked out at the contest. However, Dean had a different view of it since he was up close. Trinaldo was kind enough not to follow up, but after Dean refused to take action, he was forced to add four additional shots that weren't really needed. It's not over. Come on! It's not over. Stop the fight! That's the Stop second now. time now, Dan. That's two it's times the now. Run of Herbert's compatriot Dan Hardy, who was commentating that night, was so mad that he left his seat to confront Dean, forcing Dean to come out in public to defend his decision and react to the negative backlash. Despite that some people say it could have been stopped earlier, I think it was uh, stopped uh, late. By no means was that a late stoppage. The veteran ref's Fight Island adventures continued when he officiated Amanda Rebass versus Marina Rodriguez. Can attempt to pass. Oh! She's hurt bad. That's why he must be to get over. that thing. Dean hasn't stopped the he fight. Rodriguez believes she has. Oh, stop the fight. Rodriguez was already off to celebrate, but she had been brought back to put her opponent out of her misery with a standing TKO. But he touched her. Whoa, what a circumstance there. Oh Looked like he goodness. made contact with the athlete, but he did not stop yes. the fight. Oh, better shoot. Oh, huge right. Marina oh. Rodriguez oh. has stopped. It looked like the fight was stopped. Then she had to go and finish it again. I don't know. He didn't touch him. He actually did, hurt, not. did not touch her. Well, oh, he went contact. in. But he went in there like he was going to stop it and then must have saw something in the eyes of Hebos and let it keep going. But Speaking of which, Alexia Olenek vs Chris Dawkins comes to mind. The 2021 heavyweight clash between an OG of the fight game and a rising star lasted less than two minutes, with both men swinging and missing early. Later in the second, however, Dawkins connected with a big right hand, followed by elbows and knees, and then at least 35 unanswered shots. Go to the body! Dock is oh. swinging away and finding a home here. This could be the end. Oh, then it covering Fight up. Back. Before Dean stepped in to stop the fight. To make matters worse, Olenek even momentarily looked at Dean while taking those punches because even he was wondering what was stopping the veteran referee from pulling the trigger. Or can he this take? Is it. Oh. The knee actually helped him there. That's it. Surely there couldn't be anything worse than that, right? Mike Pyle vs TJ Wahlberger. Herb Dean was at it again, officiating the fight between TJ Wahlberger and Mike Pyle at UFC 170. In the third round, Pyle landed a knee and proceeds to wrap up a guillotine on Wahlberger. He uses it to get into mount and land devastating elbows to Wahlberger's face. Wahlberger doesn't look like he's defending himself and gets annihilated on the ground. Oh! Oh, this fight's over. This yep. fight's over. Herb Fight. With Pyle landing over 15 total strikes without any response. Yeah. This, this fight is over. I don't know why Herb Dean is not stopping this fight. Dean was just watching the action, and Joe Rogan had no idea why this fight wasn't stopped a lot sooner. Herb Dean has seen enough.
And then, a year later, Dean produced a deja vu moment while officiating Joe Lozon vs Takanori Gomi. Gomi started the fight with a flurry of punches, and he appeared to be the quicker of the two. But all Lozon had to do was secure a takedown, and that's exactly what he did halfway through the first round. Once Lozon secured Gomi's back, he started punching his face relentlessly. After nearly 15 strikes, Gomi went limp, and Lozon stood up to celebrate his victory. Interestingly, Dean hadn't stopped the fight. He's got him flattened out. Get He's right getting here. pounded. Those oh, are hard, hard punches. shots from Lozon. He's in big He's trouble. Out. He may finish He's it out. right here. Hit it's all over! But after examining Gomi from up close, he let Lozon have his moment. Lozon! Finishes Takanori Gomi. Late? There it is. Oh, wow. It wasn't even done. Lozon called it himself. It was weird because Herb Dean didn't officially call it, but right. Lozon called it. So these were 10 of Herb Dean's worst stoppages ever. Which one was your absolute worst? Let us know in the comments below. To stay in the loop about everything MMA, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.